The government of Guyana values the contributions of every ethnic, religious, and racial group. The subcultures, values, and customs of these groups all add to the diverse and rich tapestry that is Guyana and Guyanese culture. Together, the people of this nation have sacrificed ignorance for education, segregation for inclusivity, and discrimination in the name of unity. In keeping with the theme of sacrifice, this week's Government in Action explores the festival of sacrifice, Eid al-Adha. We join our Muslim brothers and sisters and learn how each one of us can make small sacrifices for the greater good of Guyana. Assalamu alaikum. The first 10 days of the last month of the Muslim calendar, the month of Zulhijjah, are set aside as the time most sacred and beloved by God. Muslims are encouraged to fast, seek Allah's forgiveness, and practice righteous deeds. This sets the stage for the festival of sacrifice, a story which may seem more familiar to most than expected. Sheikh Muin al Haq of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana, the CIOG, tells us more. Prophet Abraham saw in a dream that he had to sacrifice that which he loved best and uh, he, made, he made sacrifice of animals uh, two nights and he continued to see this dream and a command from the Lord, sacrifice that which you love most and therefore he then approached his son who was his only child at that time and which he received, which he got at the age of 86 years, and that is Ishmael. And it is this attempted sacrifice, this tradition which we continue to observe uh, until today. With this idea and the principle of sacrifice, we know about sacrificing for something that has worth, uh, something that has value, and so. In the religion of Islam, we find this principle in every aspect of our faith. Sacrifice is not meant only for one day per year and one particular ritual. It, is, it encompasses our entire living and fulfilling our obligations. Uh, to the Creator uh, as well as uh, the creation. In this regard, we must state also that as believers in God Almighty, it is required of us that we do not sacrifice our morals, our good habits, our good attitude, and our principles and this is one of the important lessons we learned from prophet abraham um, and ishmael the prophet abraham was brought up in a lawless time despite the immorality of the society he refused to conform choosing instead to build his own household elsewhere this sheikh moin said is an important lesson in islam so he taught us that we abstain from wrong even if everyone is doing it and we do that which is right even if no one is observing it and this uh, sometimes is a lonely road for us to travel but when we know better uh, we must do better and this is one of the lessons we learn from this particular uh, prophet of God Almighty and this sacrifice. The real meaning behind the sacrifice can be 
recited in a verse of the Holy Quran which states, It is not the meat nor the blood which reaches God Almighty, but it is your piety, your sincerity, that is what reaches the Almighty. And so we learn from this that before the animal sacrifice is accepted by God Almighty, we have to sacrifice and slaughter those evil desires, those egos, uh, remove the hatred uh, from our hearts, remove the animosity, uh, the greed, and the malice, etc. Otherwise, the whole and this animal sacrifice will become an exercise in futility. Abraham and Ishmael are prominent characters of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. Sheikh Muin said that this is proof of a similarity between human beings that far outweighs the differences. Uh, in one of the chapters of the Holy Quran, God Almighty says, uh, definitely those who purify themselves, that is internally and externally, will succeed. But many of you prefer this material life, which is transient, it's temporary. But the hereafter is better and lasting. This information you will find in the previous scriptures, the scripture of Abraham, and the scripture of Moses. These are verses I translated into English from the Holy Quran al Karim. And so we have a strong relationship. We believe in all the prophets of God Almighty, including Prophet Abraham, including Prophet Jesus. And therefore, we have more in common. And as a Guyanese who live in our country here, Guyana, a multi religious, a multicultural society, we must emphasize uh, what we have. Uh, in common instead of our few differences. On Monday, August 12th, Muslims across Guyana will go to their masters and participate in an animal sacrifice that is a reflection of the obedience and sacrifice of the Prophet Abraham. Mr. Frederick McWilfred, a devout Muslim and long-standing member of the public service, shared with us his favorite traditions during Eid al-Adha. Topping the list is time spent during charity work. Well, it was in 1987 that my quest for answers, questions like what am I, what am I doing here, where am I going, led me to Islam. And in 1987, I took the Shahada, and I, so I'm what you call a convert or a revert to Islam. And I've been practicing Islam since then. Uh, they tell me that I'm probably the most senior Muslim in the, in the, in the administration. On a typical day in Guyana, we start the day with the Eid prayer. Everyone goes to the Eid ground. Usually, it is preferred to be done in the open. So the CIG will do it at the MYO. You will see some Muslim brothers doing it on the tarmac of the National Cultural Center. But most, of, most Muslims in Ghana across the country do, does it in the masjid, especially if there's inclement weather. So we go for the Eid prayer, and immediately after the Eid prayer, we have the performance of the sacrifice. So uh, next Monday, if you go to the various Eid grounds and to the masajids around the country, you can see all the Muslims there who can afford uh, doing their sacrifice and dividing up their meat. And the part I love the most about this is the distribution of the meat to the poor. And I have a favorite place in Georgetown where I do my kurbani. Uh, it's at the Mandela Avenue Masjid on uh, Mandela Avenue in, in the Penitence. And um, I go there because I, I feel a great sense of affinity with the people in the neighborhood. And if you were to come there on Monday, you will see hundreds probably of people, non-Muslims, who just come there for a piece of meat. And, uh, and, 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 and I'm so happy to be part of that process. Uh, to, to give that piece of meat to them, you know, and to encourage them and to, by our example, demonstrate goodness and to, to 
urge towards goodness and away from evil and wrongdoing. Mr. McWilford said that Guyana's plural society should be protected and celebrated as persons in other countries are persecuted for their religious beliefs. We have a unique situation in Guyana where uh, we appreciate each other. You know, uh, you see more non-Hindus, for example, at Pago time, <laughs> throwing a beer and, and water. So we have, I think, mutual respect across religions. And that's a very good thing, and I hope, I pray that God Almighty will always continue to bless us in this way, to have this great, great blessing. You know, when you look at our country, where people are slaughtered for their beliefs, where people have to hide and practice their religion, where people are being persecuted just because they're Muslim or they're Hindu or they're Sikh or they're Buddhist or whatever. You know, in Guyana, we don't have that. And I've never, I've not known of a single instance under any government where there has been any attempt at religious persecution. My doctor is, not, is a pastor who, you, who had a long Hindu name, you know, he's known as Pastor Peter. You know, so it's quite interesting to me. And I see this all from an from a Islamic position. And what is good that he is a Hindu turned Christian pastor, but I trust him with my life as my doctor. So that for me is one of the beauties of our culture and our life in Guyana. On behalf of His Excellency President David Granger and the government of Guyana, and on my own behalf, to wish the Muslim community uh, Eid Mubarak, Eid Saeed, Eid Karim, and to wish that uh, goodwill will prevail and that we will promote the true values of Qurbani, of sacrifice, and that we will be an example for the wider community in our practice of goodness and in our forbidden of evil. Um, I would also like to extend those greetings to the wider Chinese community and, and to ask you to, to understand our, our practice and as we try to understand other practices as Muslims and uh, well, Mubarak. The government of Guyana continues to uphold and support the right of every Guyanese as enshrined in the Constitution to practice his or her religion freely without fear of persecution. We as Guyanese can learn from the celebration of Eid al-Adha. Let us all welcome the festival of sacrifice for the betterment of our country. Until next time, this has been Government in Action. I'm Grace Williams, Eid Mubarak. <laughs>